is this brand going to be the next big brand in golf? Let's take a look and find out. So before we get stuck into the video today, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you want me to be your free golf coach. Loads of tech advice, loads of free golf lessons, everything good to get your game good. Hit it down there. Let's take a look at this video. So the brand in question is this one, Inesis, and that is a decathlon brand. Now, if you don't know who decathlon are, let me just give you a quick few facts about decathlon. So a lot of the prices that you'll see and what I talk about in this video are cheap because they manage their own production and their own shipping. So instead of having it come from different areas and then assembled in different parts and paying third parties, Decathlon own their own production and their own shipping, which means they can keep the costs down. They've got the third largest R&D facility in France. In all industries, the third largest. So you think of all their no-name stuff, it's actually getting the same R&D that something like a Titleist, a Callaway would have because of how big their facility is. Their turnover is $10 billion. Yes, $10 billion. It's almost like the IKEA of the sporting goods world. It does everything, it has everything for someone, but it also keeps it down at a low cost price. The first thing that makes me think that Decathlon or Inesis could be one of the leading brands moving forwards is that they've got something for everyone. Whether you are a beginner golfer or you're going all the way up to the experienced golfer, they've got something for you. Take these, the Inesis 900 golf ball. I've done a review on these in the past and when we actually see these golf balls stack up against something like a Pro V1, they hold their own. The numbers are great. They get the same distance, they get the same spin. Durability wise, they're pretty decent. We're not seeing that like some other manufacturers that are claiming to make Pro V1 rivals, they don't stand up, they don't get the distance, they don't last very long and the price isn't actually that much cheaper than a Pro V1, so you may as well switch to it. These are $27.99 for a dozen, so pretty much half the price of a Pro V1 at the same performance. Take something like this, the putter. This is one of their more premium putters, the face balanced mallet. It's 99 pounds though, and it looks decent. When you see something like maybe a Slazinger from a Sports Direct that's more the entry level putter, you know it looks like an entry level putter and they don't offer that premium putter in the Slazinger range. But here, this Innocence one, you can see that it's got a face insert it's got a nice alignment aids behind the golf ball. It actually looks really nice. And if you were to maybe stack it up against like a Scotty Cameron, an Odyssey, I don't think it would look too much out of place, but it's costing one third of the price. And again, like I say, there's putters on the website or in the shops that are 19.99. So if you're starting out, and you're thinking, well, I don't want to spend 99 quid on a putter. I just want something for 20 quid. You've got that. If you're a more premium player and you're looking for maybe a ball that isn't a Pro V1, but you want the performance, you've got something like that. Feels nice, that. Feels real nice. I think the other part of having something for everyone as well is when you actually come to look on the website, it's evidently clear with the descriptions that they have where you would fall in to which products where as sometimes I think with other big brands there's so much spiel on these new age techs that they've got and how it's going to revolutionize your game as where something like the Inesis 900 golf ball says it's for a handicap 15 below and it's just for someone who wants good feel and touch around the green so if you're maybe a new golfer and you get a little bit mind boggled by all the spiel that comes along with some of the products. When you actually look on here, it was like, oh, right, yeah, that golf ball, yeah, that's for the good golfer, okay. That one's maybe more for the mid-handicapper, that one's for the higher handicapper. And it seems that they make it very easy for golfers, depending on what standard you are, to go, that's me, that's my product there, I'm gonna start off with this one, then I would progress into this line, and then I would move into that line, instead of thinking, well, is that, which, which driver do I get? The Plus, the, the LS version, the different version, each one. It's very much, this is for you, try that one. This is for you, try that one, which I absolutely love and that ease of use, I think is fantastic. The next thing that makes me think that Innesis could be one of the big brands of the future is actually that you can just go and get 
everything you need under one roof. So if you were starting out and you thought, I'm going on a golf trip with my friends, I need to go and get some balls, I need a glove, I need shoes, I need clothes, I need a set of golf clubs, it's got it all there. You walk in, you can just kit yourself out for a decent price as well and go off to play the golf course. If you're a decent player as well, they actually do do some of the other models as well. You can get things like the Titleists and the Callaways in there, but they have their offerings of the better player stuff. So even some of the rounds, because of their big research and development facility, you see some of their more premium products that are aimed at the better player. They've got the utility irons. They've got that set of bladed irons. They've got wedges. They've got specialized putters. They've got the better drivers. They've got the better golf ball. So regardless of whether you're just that guy who's starting out and wants to just get a few things to get you out on the golf course, or whether you're the more established golfer who wants to go and get your premium golf clubs, you've got it all there under one roof. I know that we do have that with other big brands and other big manufacturers, but it just seems so easy that you can go, right, well, there's my checklist. I need all that there. I can go and get it. One of the other things that I think makes Inesis one of the potential big brands is price v performance. I've got my GC3 set up here. I've got a Pro V1 and I've got the Inesis ball. And I'm just gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna hit two drives with each and just show you how close these numbers are when you actually I think that a Pro V1 average price now is about $49.99 for a dozen golf balls, $27.99 for the uh, Inesis 900 golf ball. Whew. I take that one in play every day. Just come and have a look at the numbers on this one though. 283 carry for the Pro V1 with a 225 spin number. Let's just hit an Inesis and just show you how close this actually gets here. So a little bit out of the neck that one, but when you look at the numbers, 272 carry, 29. So a little bit more spin because I got it a little bit more out of the heel, but for a poor shot to only be nine yards away versus one that are buttoned with a Pro V1, there's not much difference in that at all. Then if we were to look at something like their driver, the 500 driver, titanium driver, not loads of technology in it, only 149 pounds this driver, designed at your beginner golfer or your, your higher handicap golfer, designed to launch the ball a little bit higher, help get rid of that slice a little bit more. Again, 150 pounds when we're looking at maybe sort of in the realm of 300 pounds for a similar sort of driver for one of the big manufacturers. When we actually hit this one, we would expect, expect to see a higher launch and maybe less slice on it. It does exactly that straight down the middle. I'm not expecting it to go anywhere near as far, but I get more spin, 3,600. My launch jumps up. And again, for that price versus performance, I think it's well up there on the high end of those charts. You don't have to spend loads, but you get a good performance from them. And that's got to be a positive, surely. There is a negative though. At the moment, you can't go and get custom fit for these golf clubs. So what we're seeing from a lot of these manufacturers now that are popping up or maybe doing direct to consumer stuff, you don't get the ability to go and tailor the clubs as much as you would do with maybe a Titleist, a Callaway, a TaylorMade, which I think if you're just coming into the game, if you were at that starting out you just want to go and kick yourself out isn't too much of a bad thing but if then if you're starting to get into your performance golf clubs where you may be looking at buying a new set of irons and you're getting your handicap down you want to know that you've got the right option for you and if you've not been able to try some get the right length the lie the loft grip size shaft flex shaft options that is a little bit of a negative for me so maybe that is maybe something that you might see pop up in a decathlon store in the future they actually have a pga pro with a hitting bay and he offers some form of fitting service for the clubs that you're about to buy but at the moment it's go in buy it off the rack at a good price get a good performance get everything under one roof and i think that's why we'll probably see a lot more of inesis and even if you look at the social profile if you look at it their instagram they're on it 
they're trying to get out there, they're trying to get in front of golfers. And it is impressive to see someone come along who's not the normal conventional big name, make good golf clubs at an affordable price and offer a way for more golfers to get into the game and enjoy it. So do I think will we be seeing Innesis as one of the big brands moving forwards? I've got high hopes for them. They've got the money behind them. They've got the research and development. They've got the stores to get the stuff out there. I think it can only be positive if they get a little bit more adjustability, a little bit more custom into their line. Who knows what we will see from them. Guys, comment down below if you used any of their products before. Would you go and buy any of their products? Let me know as well. Remember, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in your next video, maybe with an Innesis Club.